Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm sharing with you my top 10 favourite drugstore highlighters. Now highlighters have become such a cult product to have over the last couple of years and there is definitely lots of really great drugstore highlighters out there. So I wanted to share with you 10 of my favourites and I've also done a bronzer version of this and I will be doing a mascara version as well. So definitely keep a lookout for that. And with that being said, let's get right into my 10 favourites. Okay, so I've broken this down into a couple of categories. So the first category and the first sort of few highlighters I'm going to be talking about are more subtle ones if you don't like anything sort of too in your face. These would maybe be perfect for you. So the first one I have is the Makeup Revolution Radiance Palette. This is an exact dupe for the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette it's called. Um, and I've spoken about this, I think actually in a drugstore dupes video, but this has three very subtle, beautiful looking highlighters. This is actually a really great one for setting foundation as well, if you love that sort of illuminating sort of glow. Um, but I absolutely love these. You can tell I use these two the most. I actually mix them together and I just pop them on sort of a setting brush and I usually just set my under eyes and sort of my chin and my nose with this. But you can easily wear these on their own as well, um, just as sort of a cheek highlighter. Um, they actually look nice under blusher instead of on top, just to give you that beautiful like ethereal glow. But this is such a great value for money palette and you get so much in the palette. So the other more subtle highlighter I have is from Essence and this is their strobing highlighter. This has become quite a cult product I think because it is a really great highlighter and it's also affordable as well and this is called Let It Glow and this looks again stunning on the cheeks. I would say you could probably get away with setting your foundation with it but I'd say it's just a tad more glowy than the Radiance palette but this is beautiful if you love um, a really a subtle highlighter and I tend to use sort of a fluffy brush with it and just pop it on the cheeks but again you could use this under blusher as well. Next up I have a couple of highlighters that are sort of the next notch up with regards to um, how vibrant they are. So the first one I have, I actually tested this out I think in a first impression and it's just become such a staple highlighter for me. I really do use this a lot and it is the Barry M Illuminating Highlighter Palette. Again, this is very similar actually to the Revolution Radiance Palette, sort of the tones of it, but I would say this is a little, bit more um, apparent on the cheeks. So I, again, tend to use this pink and this white one, but you also have this golden one that looks beautiful with a tan. These are really nice sized pans as well. And the way I use this is I use this sort of little contour brush and I'll dip in between these two and pop this on top of my blusher. And it just leaves such a beautiful, pretty natural glow. Um, I will actually insert, if I do have photos of how they are on my cheeks, I'll insert them as well just so you can see how it is. Then the other one I have is another Makeup Revolution one. This is one of their Stray Powders. The writing on the front is actually worn off, but this is called the Vivid Baked Highlighter in Radiant Lights. Again, this is very similar to sort of these two mixed together. Um, and this is just beautiful on the cheeks. Um, if you want to pop a bit sort of on the cupid's bow or on your eyebrows, um, on your brow bone and you could use this with a little fluffy brush or something a little bit bigger. So if you really are a true highlighter fan and you absolutely love something that's going to really show up and pop, especially in photos, then these next three hopefully I've got you covered with that sort of criteria. So the first one I have 
is actually quite an underrated palette. I don't hear anyone really talk about this, but this is the Revolution Ultra Blush Palette. But don't be fooled by the name. This um, is actually a highlighting palette. It's called Golden Sugar 2 Rose Gold. I do hear people speak about it, but not sort of in the highlighter sense. I actually have one of these shades on today on my cheeks and this is just such a popping highlighter. It looks beautiful, maybe if you're going on a night out or you're on holiday and things like that. So this is what it looks like. I actually have um, some sellotape over this one because it did break. But these um, five here are the highlighters and they are just Oh, just amazing. I have the peach one on, but I don't know if you can see, I'll have close-ups as well. But they really do sort of pack a punch um, and just look absolutely stunning. And this is such a great value for money palette for how many you get in here. I would say these three are more blusher shades and these two can be used as bronzers as well. So you could use these to start with and then use the highlighters as like blush toppers after. But this is such a great palette and if, like I said, if you are really into highlighters, I would definitely recommend picking this one up. So this next highlighter is something I tested out in a recent first impressions video and it is the Primark Pure Glow Highlighter in Champagne. This is such excellent value for money. And this is more sort of your golden, yellowy toned highlighter. But look how much you get in the pan. This is three pound, so an absolute steal if you can get your hands on this. This looks gorgeous with a tan, maybe dusted across your decollete as well as your cheeks. But I will leave the first impressions video all about this and also the blog post down below if you want to go and check out more about this. And I also tested out a mermaid highlighter as well. So I have one more powder highlighting palette that I wanted to share with you. And this is actually a palette that's been around for quite a few years now. And I would say it was one of the first drugstore highlighting palettes and it is the Sleek Solstice palette. So this has four different shades in here. So we have three powders, so like a pinky, an orangey one, and a golden. And then it has this cream highlighter here as well. And these are super pigmented and really show up, especially in photos. This is one of the most expensive that I'm talking about here, but definitely worth the money considering how buttery they are and just how vibrant and gorgeous they look on the cheeks. To finish off, I wanted to share with you three non-powder favorite highlighters as well. So the first one is the MUA Glow Beam that again I tested out in a recent first impression. This is a cushion liquid highlighter. It comes in first of all really beautiful packaging with a mirror as well. But this is such an unusual highlighter and I just really love this if you're wearing all sort of cream products it is quite hard to find um, really good cream highlighters and I just love the fact that this is in a cushion so what I do is just use a little um, damp mini real technique sponge and I just dab into it and just pop it over the cheeks um, before I pop my blusher on but again this could be used um, on the shoulders or on the decollete but this is sort of like a really nice golden bronzy highlighter and just stunning and just a little bit different if you're not keen on the powder ones and you're more of a cream product girl. So the other two I have are liquid highlighters and the first one is the Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid. This is in the medium nude, which is the gold version, and there's also a champagne version, 
Both of them are really great, but I actually prefer the golden one. I think I spoke about this actually in a favourites video. Again, I do like I do with the cushion one, is I pop this underneath my blusher and then I pop on a cream blusher over the top. This is a very subtle highlighter, but just really pretty when it sort of catches the light. And it really is nice um, and smooth and creamy, so it blends in well. And I would use this again with a little damp sponge. So the last cream highlighter and the last highlighter out of the 10 I'm showing with you today is from Seventeen, and this is their Skin Wow 3-Way Highlighter. This is more of a silvery one and it's an exact dupe for the Benefit High Beam. If you love that and you're looking for something a bit more affordable then definitely go and check out this. You get absolutely loads in this bottle and it's one where you just squirt it out and um, I would definitely use this with a sponge. But this is great not only just as a highlighter worn alone, but mixed in with your foundation if you want something a bit more dewy and glowy, especially in the summer months. But this is definitely much more vibrant than the Maybelline one. So if you want something that's a bit more sort of out there, then definitely check this out. But they also do a golden version as well if you love those kind of tones better. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I really do hope you found this helpful. If you are on the search for a drugstore highlighter, give this video a thumbs up if you did find it helpful and also let me know if you want me to do any more of these kinds of videos and what sort of product or category you want me to cover. I Like I said before, I will have the mascara one coming up soon, so definitely keep a lookout for that. But also, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter and Snapchat for more inspiration. And if you did miss my last video, you can go ahead and click on the picture link and that will take you to that video. Have a wonderful rest of the week, guys, and I'll look forward to seeing you in my next one. Take care. Bye.